We're doing beam enlargements for 48 concrete beams. So they're bringing in a new crane in about a year um, that's going to be larger and larger capacity than the existing cranes. So they need to strengthen the existing beams. We started back in middle of August on site. We have to be out of here by November 30th. There is a juvenile fish um, passage happening then. So tight schedule, a lot of beams. We're installing rebar into um, our single-sided beam enlargement and we're using fiberglass coil ties for the form work. Obviously, we have a certain temperature, a working temperature for the epoxy. So it's getting pretty cold up here. To expedite our, um, and to keep our same cure time, we're using um, heaters and heating blankets in the bays um, to keep that cure time around uh, 24 to 48 hours um, so that we can install form work within that time and then be able to place um, within the next 48 hours. We're using two different kinds of scaffolding system. One is a uh, system scaffold, um, pretty standard, coming up from the fish access walkway, I believe, underneath um, of our beams, and then going straight up to right below our beams. The other one is this hacky system, which is anchored directly into the pier walls and the back pier wall. It basically looks like a floating scaffold just sitting on these anchor points. The project was happening at a very busy time for us from a manpower perspective. So we had a lot of um, short service employees and uh, you know local labor support. Um, so kind of getting them ingratiated and indoctrinated with our safety and quality and then just kind of educating them on the work that we do um, was definitely a challenge for our field leaders and the rest of the team. Um, but it, it's been really great to see people kind of step up. We have kind of a nice setup here where we have a bay which can hold about three guys each. So we might put two kind of veterans on the job with a newer guy. Um, or you have a very strong veteran with two new guys. Um, and we mix that up so that the veteran can kind of show them the expectations, show them the production expectations and the quality expectations. The key there is to line out your crews very well, to know who's your strongest guy, to know what bays you can put them on and who they can teach. And uh, kind of the crew layout is very important. Last week we had um, high winds of gusts of 40 miles per hour about, so we notified the client of all this. Um, we just notified them that we would be stopping work for two hours due to unsafe working conditions, 